So you may have noticed that my video challenge for August was an epic fail. Um, August got really busy, kind of really unexpectedly, and so I just didn't have the time to put out the videos with the frequency that I wanted to, so I just kind of let it go. And in conjunction with that, I wasn't really around much um, on the blog, on Twitter, um, on my Facebook page, that kind of thing. So this is me kind of getting back into the swing of things for September, and I thought, what better way? I'll share with you my August favorites, because even though I wasn't really around much online, um, I was obviously still using makeup and loving makeup as I am wont to do. So first thing, you will have um, seen it already if you do follow the videos. It was my last video that I put up and I was talking about Milk of Magnesia as a skin primer. So this is what I've been using and yes, I know the bottle is massive. This is all that they had at my local store um, in this particular formula. So I figured what the heck, it's still cheaper than most like face primers even at the drugstore and you get a heck of a lot more. So I've been using this all month. I just decant into a little travel size bottle and apply from there. It's kind of amazing. Um, kind of a big deal because as most of you know I have very very oily skin and obviously in summertime you know oily skin kind of hits its peak in its annoying oiliness. So I find that when I'm using this with my sort of uh, medium to full matte finish foundations, my skin stays relatively shine free, which for me is absolutely unheard of. So needless to say, over the moon about that. And then with my foundations that have a little bit more shine to them, dewiness or BB creams and stuff like that, there is still some shine that comes through, but it's a lot less than it would be without it. Um, I find that, you know, if I'm if I'm rushing, sometimes I'll start doing my skin. I'm like, no, no, wait, I gotta put my primer on because it's it makes that much of a difference. So the Philips Milk of Magnesia has been fantastic and I'm really glad that I tried it because it's totally been worth it. The next product, um, I've also been using this pretty much for the month of August, um, but I've had it for a long time. This is the Makeup Forever HD Silica Powder. Now, as far as other, ooh, sorry, as far as all other silica powders, I can't speak on them. I've never used them. Um, when I first got this one, I loved it. The first couple times I tried it, and then as I kept using it, I started hating it because I was getting that, you know, dreaded, ashy, white flashback in photos and um, I didn't really understand why so I kind of just chucked it in a drawer and kind of went back to you know the tinted face powders and that kind of a thing but it was earlier or I guess it was a later part of last year maybe even before then and I was using um, a translucent powder from Tarte and then I fell in love with uh, the Prep and Prime translucent powder from MAC and I found that I was able to work with both of those I got a really nice finish I didn't have to worry about trying to match as my skin was changing through the seasons and so when I ran out of those I figured you know what let me try the Makeup Forever version again and give it a go and in conjunction with that I remembered the oh so sage advice of one Mr. Kevin James Bennett who is kind of an amazing makeup artist who's just extremely passionate and all kinds of amazing. Um, he was talking about this a while back and he was sort of addressing the issues that people were having with that flashback and he was saying that it needs to be applied on a moist skin. So if you're putting on your foundation or your concealer, get your powder on there. Um, if your skin has kind of set up and dried a bit then you know mist it down with something so that when you're applying the powder you'll get that interaction between powder and moisture which is what causes it to become translucent so little passed on tip there and makes using this a heck of a lot easier next I'm um, actually going to share a brush with you I have had this since last fall 
but I didn't start using it until probably the spring. Um, but I've been using it regularly all throughout the summer and it is the five or sorry, the 959 from Delium Tools. So this guy here, um, synthetic brush, kind of amazing. Handled kabuki, I guess, is probably the best way to describe it. It's very, very dense. Um, and what I use it for is I apply my skin, so whether it's BB cream, foundation, what have you, um, kind of get it on there, do some preliminary blending, and then I go over it with this just to really, really buff out um, the product and work it into the skin so that my skin still looks like skin and I just I love it I have nothing bad to say about it this came in a set um, I can't even remember how much it was but fantastic fantastic brush um, if you're looking for something like this then I definitely recommend checking this company out because um, that brush is love now the next product, this is Rockstar from Urban Decay. It's one of their 24-7 liners. And it's just kind of, I don't know, like a metallic deep plum color. And I have been loving this during the day as an alternative to black uh, liner along the upper lash line. And then when I'm doing something like this that's a little bit smoky, I'll put it um, underneath on the lower lash line and then smoke it out with whatever shadows I'm using. And I love it. It's amazing. And I'm finding that now that my skin is a lot less oily because of the bases that I'm using, um, I find that this lasts a lot better than it used to. It doesn't run or anything like that. So yeah, rock star. And then finally, kind of have a two for one. I usually don't do this with my five faves because I have another sort of um, series, I guess, called Current Combos, and this would totally qualify for it, but I have been using them so much and they both definitely are favorites. So these are my BB creams, one from Marcel, one from Maybelline. Um, I use the Medium Deep in the Dream Fresh and then I use Dark to Darker in Marcel. And basically with these, I mix them together. The Dark to Darker is probably two shades too dark for me right now, um, but the formulation is fantastic. I have a review on, I think it's Medium to Dark. It was posted in the winter. Um, so if you wanna kind of get an idea of how I feel about the formula, um, I'll link to that video in the description box. And then this one is actually a little bit too light. So I just kind of mix two of them together. I get the SPF 30 from this, which is awesome. And the awesomeness that is just this BB cream. So together they work really well. I can customize my color and it's all good. Um, really never expected to be huge into BB creams just because of my history of skin issues with breakouts and hyperpigmentation, dark spots and all that stuff, but I'm finding that these are actually delivering enough coverage for me. Now certainly my skin isn't perfected, but it's definitely polished and has me feeling comfortable enough to, you know, be out doing whatever I need to do without having to go through the whole routine of um, like a full foundation. So those are all of my favorites from the month of August. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions or any comments or anything like that, you can let me know down below or you can send me a message via YouTube. I'll also leave all my social media links down below so we can connect that way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.